नमस्कार भाइयों बहनों आज जो पेपर मैं आपके साथ डिस्कस करने वाला हूं वो हमारा 2012 का यूके पीएससी अपर प्रीलिम्स का पेपर है जैसा कि आप सभी लोगों को पता होगा हम अपने यूट्यूब चैनल पर प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर्स की एक सीरीज़ चला रहे हैं आशा करता हूं कि आपने हमारी प्रीवियस वीडियोस भी देखी होंगी और इस वीडियो से भी आप मैक्सिमम बेनिफिट ले पाएंगे जिससे आप मैक्सिमम सवालों का आने वाली परीक्षाओं में सही जवाब दे सकें चलिए शुरू करते हैं 2012 अपर प्रीलिम्स यूके पीएससी के क्वेश्चन पेपर का सॉल्यूशन पहला क्वेश्चन है द अर्लीस्ट रेफरेंस ऑफ मैग्नेटिक कंपस इज फाउंड इन सो इसका आंसर हो जाएगा आपका ऑप्शन डी जवा म्यूल हिकायत नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज आफ्टर द डाउनफॉल ऑफ द दिल्ली सल्तनत हु वॉज द फर्स्ट रूलर टू इश्यू द गोल्ड क्वाइन इसका आंसर हो जाएगा ऑप्शन बी हुमायू मैच द फॉलोइंग मोन्यूमेंट्स विद दर कंसर्न रूलर एंड सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट कोड गिवन बिलो सो वी हैव मोन्यूमेंट्स एंड द रूलर्स हु कंस्ट्रक्टेड दैम सी दिस इज वेरी सिंपल ट्रू आर्क डोम वॉज कंस्ट्रक्टेड बाय बल्बन एज ऑल ऑफ अस नो सो सी मैचेज टू ऑप्शन थ्री हैंस करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी बट लेट मी रिवाइज दिस विद यू डबल डोम इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड बाय सिकंदर लोधी ऑक्टागनल टूम is constructed by Sher Shah true arc dome as i said it is balban and gol gumbad is adil shah next question is which monument is not at fatehpur sikri so the answer to this will be akbari mahal so let me tell you ye kaise aayog dwara aapki aagami parikshaon mein pucha ja sakta hai wo aise puch sakte hain ki in char options mein se kaun sa monument aapka fatehpur sikri mein hai उनमें से कोई भी ऑप्शन ए बी या सी जो यहाँ पे ऑप्शंस दे रखे हैं उनमें से हो सकता है सो so, इस क्वेश्चन से हमें क्या पता चलता है गोल्डन पैलेस पंच महल और जोधाबाई पैलेस हमारे तीनों मॉन्यूमेंट्स फतेहपुर सीकरी में हैं। विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आश्रम्स रिलेटेड टू महात्मा गांधी इज द ओल्डेस्ट इसका आंसर हो जाएगा आपका ऑप्शन बी फीनिक्स आश्रम जो कि साउथ अफ्रीका में लोकेटेड है क्वेश्चन सिक्स द फर्स्ट चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट एस्टेब्लिश्ड बाय द ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी वॉज ऑप्शन ए विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर विच इज एलिजा इम्पे मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हु वॉज द ऑथर ऑफ नील दर्पण इसका आंसर हो जाएगा आपका ऑप्शन डी दीनबंधु मित्रा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अजीमुल्ला खान वॉज एन एडवाइजर टू ऑप्शन ए नाना साहेब इज द करेक्ट आंसर हु एस्टेब्लिश्ड सत्यशोधक समाज दिस इज ज्योतिबा फूले एंड दिस वॉज एस्टेब्लिश्ड इन महाराष्ट्र क्वेश्चन डी इज मुजफ्फर अहमद एस ए डांगे सौकत उस्मानी एंड नलिनी गुप्ता वर जेल्ड फॉर विच कॉन्स्पेरेसी दिस इज ऑप्शन डी कानपुर बॉल्सुविक कॉन्स्पेरेसी केस अब ये क्वेश्चन आपका अलग तरीके से भी आगामी परीक्षाओं में पूछा जा सकता है वो आपको ऑप्शन दे देंगे कि इनमें से कौन व्यक्ति कानपुर बॉल्सुविक कॉन्स्पेरी केस कॉन्स्पेरेसी केस का पार्ट था सो so, ये जो चारों नाम हैं आपके मुजफ्फर अहमद एस ए डांगे सौकत उस्मानी और नलिनी गुप्ता आपको ये याद करने हैं ये रखते हैं आपका तालुकात कानपुर बॉल्सविक कॉन्स्पेरेसी केस से द लॉन्गेस्ट ग्लेशियर इन उत्तराखंड इज गंगोत्री ग्लेशियर विच इज ऑप्शन डी उसके बाद दूसरे नंबर पे आता है आपका पिंडारी ग्लेशियर मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज क्वेश्चन 12। अकॉर्डिंग टू सेंसिस 2011, थाउजेंड इलेवन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ उत्तराखंड हैड नेगेटिव पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ रेट इसका आंसर हो जाएगा आपका ऑप्शन बी अल्मोड़ा Which are called dunes in Uttarakhand, structural valleys. In which of the following rivers confluence is Govind Ghat located? देखिए जो Govind Ghat है वो हमें पता है ये हेमकुंड साहेब चमोली के पास located है अलकनंदा एंड भागीरथी गलत इसका जो संगम है वो देवप्रयाग में है Option D अलकनंदा एंड धौली गंगा इसका जो संगम है आपका वो है आपका विष्णु प्रयाग में तो A और D तो हो नहीं सकते बचे ऑप्शन B एंड C. तो so, इसका जो सही आंसर है वो है ऑप्शन सी अलकनंदा एंड लक्ष्मण गंगा विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ बायोस्फेयर रिजर्व इन उत्तराखंड ये है आपका नंदा देवी गोविंद नेशनल पार्क कॉर्बेट नेशनल पार्क और राजाजी नेशनल पार्क ये तीनों नेशनल पार्क हैं बट जो नंदा देवी है वो है आपका बायोस्फेयर रिजर्व इसी के साथ मैं आपको थोड़ी इन्फॉर्मेशन और दे देता हूँ इस क्वेश्चन के ऑप्शन के बारे में जो गोविंद नेशनल पार्क है वो है आपका उत्तरकाशी डिस्ट्रिक्ट में कॉर्बेट नेशनल पार्क आपका दो डिस्ट्रिक्ट में है विच इज पौरी एंड नैनीताल जो राजा जी है आपका वो है तीन डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स में हरिद्वार देहरादून एंड पौड़ी एंड जो नंदा देवी नेशनल नंदा देवी बायोस्फेयर रिजर्व है लेट मी टेल यू नंदा देवी बायोस्फेयर रिजर्व इट वाज एस्टेब्लिश्ड इन 1982 इट बिकेम अ यूनेस्को वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट 
in 1988 and it was included in the UNESCO's network of man and biosphere reserves in 2004 so these three important facts are also there which one is the most extensive part of the ocean floor this is option D deep sea plains Grenada is located in Caribbean Sea which is option C a telegram was sent from Greenwich at 12 noon. Now Greenwich is 0 degree longitude. 0 degree longitude. The time for transmission was 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Now let me give you another information. One longitude is equal to 4 minutes. So 12 minutes is equal to 3 degrees. Right? On a longitudinal scale. Now it reached the town at 6 p.m. So the difference between 12 noon and 6 p.m. is 6 hours. This is how many longitudes? 6 into 60 divided by 4. Divided by 4 to 4. 15. 15 6 are 90 degrees east. So we know that the place is located at 90 degrees east. Also the time for transmission was 12 minutes which is 3 longitudes. So the answer will be 90 degree east minus 3 degree. So this will be. 87 degrees east which is option B which one of the following is not a member of BRICS this is option C Saudi Arabia the member of members of BRICS are Brazil Russia India China and South Africa South Africa became a member of BRICS in 2010 moving on to the next question which one of the following is not associated to the group the answer to this will be Nice, which is a metamorphic rock whereas all the other options sandstone limestone and shale are sedimentary rocks the state having highest literacy rate as per 2011 census is this will be option D Mizoram next question is which of the following is not properly matched not बहुत बार आप ये जो question का statement होता है इसको ढंग से नहीं देखते और आपका जो question है वो negative marking दे जाता है तो बहुत जरूरी है कि आप जो अपना question है उसको ध्यान से पढ़ें Simlipal which is true it is in Odisha Nokrek Meghale is also true Agastamala Kerala is also true Option D is Kanchanjunga, Himachal Pradesh. No, this is not true because Kanchanjunga is located in Sikkim and not in Himachal Pradesh. Moving on to the next question, which is a list of industries and the places where these industries are located. Dekhi, aapko hi pata hona chahi, jo cement industry hai aapki, that is located in Udaipur. So C matches to 2. C matches to 2, A ki option hai. Option A will be the correct answer. Isi ke saath hum aur bhi dekh lete hai. Option A which is fertilizer industry Shri Ganganagar which is in Rajasthan B glass is in Jaipur C cement is in Udaipur as I said and synthetic silk is in Kota Moving on to the next question which one of the following rivers is associated with Sardar Sarovar project This is option A Narmada On an outline map of India four coal fields are given which one is not correctly shown on the map A Satpura which is correct as we can see on the map Son Valley is again correct. Korba, which is in Chhattisgarh, is correct. And option D, Karnapura, is wrong. No. So answer will be option D. Moving on to the next question. Which one of the following groups is the correct sequence of mountain peaks from east to west? So it is asking the mountain peaks from east to west. It is, this is very important question and you need to memorize this. You can understand it on a map as well but for the time being let me tell you the answer this is option B Kanchanjunga comes first then towards its left side comes Everest then Annapurna then Dholagiri moving on to the next question which one of the following is the correct sequence of states of India in descending order of their size Dekhi, aapko pata hai ki jo pe states de rakhe hai, wo hai, Uttarakhand, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand aur Himachal Pradesh Himachal aur Uttarakhand to baki do states se bade ho nahi sakte so आपका option जो A है और D है that is eliminated now we are left between option B and C the answer to this will be option C Chhattisgarh is bigger than Jharkhand then Himachal Pradesh then Uttarakhand comes at the fourth and the last place which river among the following does not join the Ganga river from left this is option D Sol now we have sea ports and the states in which they are located let me tell you option C Paradeep is in Odisha so C matches to two Hence our answer is option A. Moving on to the next question. Basaltic lava rocks over Indian Deccan Plateau are formed in the following period. So the answer to this will be Cretaceous period. Option A. 
who was the first Indian to join as a member of UN Human Rights Commission constituted in 1946? This is Srimati Hansa Mehta. Option B. Treaties of START One and START Two were signed between USA and USSR, which is option A. When did the Protection of Human Rights Act came into force in India? This is option D, 1993. Under which agreement International Monetary Fund was established? This is option A, Bretton Woods Agreement. When was South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation (SARC) established? This was established in 1985. Its first meeting in India was held in 1986. Also, the headquarters of SARC are in Kathmandu, Nepal. Moving on to the next question, State Legislative Assembly can participate in the election of the following: President of India, that is absolutely correct. Vice President of India, no, that is not correct. Two is eliminated, so one and D are gone. Option A and D are gone. We are left with B and C. One and three are correct. So let us check option four. Members of Legislative Assembly, of course, that is definitely true. So the answer to this is option B. Moving on to the next question. Who was the first governor of Uttaranchal? Now, Uttarakhand. This is Surjit Singh Barnala. Option D. Again, a repeated question from the previous papers of the commission. Srimati Margaret Elwa was the first woman governor of Uttarakhand. So, this is another fact that you need to remember. Which constitutional amendment provided constitutional status to urban local government? This is seventy fourth amendment act, which led to the addition of twelfth schedule, and the rural local self government is. Seventy third Amendment Act, which is the eleventh schedule. Right now, our constitution has twelve schedules in all. By whom the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court can be enlarged? This is option C, that is Parliament by making a law. Option C. Council of Ministers is collectively responsible to the Lok Sabha. Otherwise, a no confidence motion is passed, and the Council of Ministers has to resign. Which of the following has been described as the soul of the Indian Constitution? This is Article Thirty Two, which is right to constitutional remedies. Again, a fundamental right. The Lok Sabha Secretariat comes under the direct supervision of the. This is Option D, which is Lok Sabha Speaker. Who among the following is not appointed by the State Governor? Option A, Chief Minister. No, the Chief Minister is appointed by the Governor. He is the one who. Gives the oath to the chief minister. Members, state public service commission. That is true. Judges of the high court. That is true. Advocate general. That is true. No. So option C is not true. Judges of the high court because judges of the high court are appointed, and even their transfer is done by the president of India and not by the state governor. So answer to this will be option C. Question forty four is under which of the following the Constitution Assembly of India was created? This is Cabinet Mission Plan Option C, which is of nineteen forty six. Which of the following constitutes the Indian Parliament? This will be Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, and the President, which is Option A. Who presides over the joint sitting of the two houses of Parliament? This is the Speaker of the Lok Sabha. What is the tenure of the Chief Election Commissioner of India? So the answer to this will be six years or sixty five years of age, whichever is earlier. option b where the public interest litigation pil can be filed this is option d both in high courts and the supreme court moving on to the next question which tribes of uttarakhand had trade relations with tibet before 1962 or with china this is bhotia who established the gadesh seva sangh this is shridev suman let me give you two more facts about shridev shridev suman he was responsible for founding the tiri rajya praja mandal to protect the people of tiri from the atrocities of the king also he found the tiri rajya praja mandal on 23rd jan 1939 also sridev suman was martyred on 25th july 1944 both these facts have been asked in the previous questions of the commission moving on to the next question who was the first chairman of uttarakhand kranti dal This is D.D. Pant, and Uttarakhand Kranti Dal was founded in 1979. Who is known as Gandhi of Uttarakhand? This is Indramani Badoni. A person can contest the panchayat election if he has attained the age of 21 years, which is option C. 
by which constitutional amendment obcs have been given 20% 27% reservation in the admission to educational institutions this is option b 93rd who administers the oath of office and secrecy to the governor this is option c chief justice of the high court which one of the following states first established the institution of lokayukt this is maharashtra it passed the resolution for setting up of a lokayukt in 1971 which came into force in 1972 which of the following committee commissions has recommended the creation of a local body ombudsman this is second arc which is option b second administrative reforms commission question 58 Which one of the following committees is not associated with Panchayati Raj system in India? Dinesh Goswami Committee. It is not related to Panchayati Raj. All the other committees, which are L M Singhvi, Sadi Kali, Ashok Mehta, Balwant Rai Mehta, these are all related to Panchayati Raj. Moving on to the next question, under which article of the Constitution reservations in admission to educational institutions, including private and unaided? to obcs st scs is made this is article 155 right to education introduced 86th amendment came into force in 2010 next question is which one of the following is known as mystery lake of uttarakhand this is roopkund let me tell you the first time the scientists were able to carry out a research on the human skeletons that are being found in roopkund it was in 1956 and this question has also been asked by the commission in their previous years which of the following food crops of uttarakhand state covers the maximum sown area this is option c wheat as per 2011 census literacy rate of uttarakhand state is option a 79.63% which one of the following is the highest snow covered peak of uttarakhand state the answer to this is option c nanda devi Nanda Devi is the highest and at second place comes Mount Kamet a question which has again been asked very recently in FRO paper held on 28th November 2021 on which of the following rivers the TD hydro power project has been constructed this is Bhagirathi and Bhilangana Bhagirathi originates from Gomuk Gangotri glacier whereas Bhilangana originates from Khatling glacier in TD Gadwal which one of the following countries was included in BRICS in the last which was in 2010 this is south africa the britain woods conference led to the establishment of let me tell you imf was definitely created by britain woods so one has to be there which is in of course all the options so this doesn't solve our question wto wasn't created by britain woods so fourth is not there d option is gone also united nations wasn't created by britain woods so 3 is again gone so we are left with only one option that is option a imf and ibrd international bank for reconstruction and development which one of the following organizations publishes the human development report this is undp question 69 question 69 which one of the following world bank affiliate affiliates provides assistance for poverty elevation to the world's poorest countries so the answer to this is option b international development association question 70 when the exchange rate changes from 1 dollar is equal to 60 to 1 dollar is equal to 50 it means definitely it means that the value of rupee has increased that is rupee has appreciated one has to be there now we are left with options a and c and dollar value has depreciated so 1 and 2 are correct according to maltusian maltusian theory of population population increases in geometrical progression which is option a the phillips curve represents relationship between inflation and unemployment which is option b moving on to the next question which of the following economists propagated the pure monetary theory of trade cycle so the answer to this will be option a hotre who is the author of the book the accumulation of capital this is option a mrs joan robinson which of the following economists introduced fiscal policy as a tool to rectify the great depression of 1929-30 this is a very famous economist this is professor keens john mayward keens option a the committee on financial sector reforms 2008 in india was headed by the answer to this is option b raguram jarjan who has also been the governor of our reserve bank of india as per census 2011 the sex ratio 
in India is? So the answer to this will be 940 and this has been very recently asked in the lower PCS examination. The planned development model was adopted in India from, this is option A, 1st April 1951. Which one of the following is the chairman of the National Development Council? This is the Prime Minister of India, which is option A. Which of the following states in India is famous for rubber cultivation? This is Kerala. Which one of the following is part of fiscal policy? So the answer to this will be tax policy, which is option B. Narega was renamed MG, MG Narega, M Narega, sorry, on 2nd October 2009. A very important question because schemes like Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Yojana are always in news. So you should remember this. Narega was renamed after Mahatma Gandhi on 2nd October 2009. Moving on to the next question. The Indian rupee was made convertible into which of the following accounts since March 1994? This is Current account, it was fully convertible into current account, but only partially convertible into capital E account. So it was made fully convertible into capital current account, which is option B. The Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority was set up in India on, this is April 2000, which is option A. Moving on to the next question. Which one of the following is not a function of the Reserve Bank of India? The, this is option B, regulation of foreign trade. This is not the function of Reserve Bank of India. Rest all are functions of RBI. In cyber law, termi terminology, DOS means denial of service. Option A, multimedia can contain, this is option B, graphics, animation, video, music, and voice. Option B, sending an identical email message reportedly to a particular address by any abuser is called email bombing, which is option C. A program that has capability to infect other program and make copies of it itself and spread into other programs is called virus, which stands for vital information resource under siege. The full form of virus may also be asked, so you should remember this. The practice of using more than one type of medium in computer at the same time is known as multimedia option A. One carbon credit is equal to 1000 kg of CO2, which is option C. Kedar Valley disaster of June 2013 was caused by heavy rains in the catchment area of a river which was Mandakini and the glacier was Chorabadi glacier. Leakage of which of the following gases that caused the Gobhopal gas tragedy? This is methyl isocyanate. Again, this question has been asked again and again by the commission and it was on 2, 3rd, 2nd or 3rd December 1984. The air is also very important. Minimata disease is caused due to the pollution of is caused due to mercury poisoning. Option C. The number of organisms that can be supported by the environment in a given area is known as carrying capacity. The size of the nanoparticle ranges between 1 nanometer to 100 nanometer, which is option C. Moving on to the next question. Biodiversity changes occur. So we should remember as we go towards the equator, the biodiversity increases. So it increases towards the equator. Hence answer is option A. Bacillus thuringiensis is used as a biological insecticide option B. Which among the following gas is most responsible for global warming? A very basic question. So this is option C, carbon dioxide. Which one of the following is not correctly matched? Ebola virus, smallpox. This is the one which is not correctly matched. So answer is option A. Which uranium isotope is used in nuclear power plants to produce electricity? This is uranium-235. Another isot isotope which is used, it is plutonium-239. Plutonium-239. Uranium-235 and plutonium-239, which you should remember. The main constitution constituent of biogas is methane, that is CH4. Which one of the following element is used in solar cells? This is silicon, which is a semiconductor material. Which among the following is not a polymer? The answer to this is option C, caprolactam. Which vitamin is required for in clotting of blood? This is option D, vitamin K. Filament of electric bulb is made of option A, tungsten. Which of the following radiations has the highest energy per quanta? So we should know, we know the energy is given by HC by lambda, where H is the Planck's constant and lambda is the wavelength so energy per 
quantum is inversely proportional to your wavelength minimum wavelength is noticed in option b so the answer is option b moving on to the next question india's first dedicated sat na navigation satellite inns s1a was launched from shri harikota which is located in their nellore district in andhra pradesh moving on to the next question which of the following is not correctly matched optic fibers this is true light waves android voice input large hadron collider god particle that is true red planet is mars that is true so the answer is this is option b android indian institute of remote sensing iirs is situated at option a dehradun now from question 111 and question 112 both are related to current affairs so i'll skip this moving on to the next question great himalayan national park which has been accorded the unesco world heritage site status is located in you should remember this that the great Na himalayan national park is located in himachal pradesh and not in uttarakhand where is the headquarters of the north central railway zone situated so the answer to this is allahabad option a again a current affairs so i'll skip this moving on to question 117 international day of non violence is observed on this is 2nd october which is gandhi jayanti moving on to the next question the rashtriya gokul mission announced by the union government again a current affair of that time but let me tell you the answer was option a protecting the indigenous breed of cows poxo act is related to option b that is children moving on to the next question which is question number 120 who has been appointed as the new security advisor of india so this is ajit kumar doval he is also the national security advisor at present this is option d chief guest of the republic day parade 2014 again a current affair so i'll skip this now we have current affairs till question number 129 so i'll skip skip all of these which of the following states will be benefited by the proposed kisau dam project this is uttarakhand and himachal pradesh this dam is always in news so let me tell you kisau dam is being constructed on tones river and tones is a tributary of jamuna moving on to the next question which of the following is presently the chairman of rashtriya mahila ayog rashtriya mahila ayog is also national commission for women and the chairman is rekha sharma rekha sharma you should note this they might ask the chairman of national commission for women so rekha sharma will be the correct answer the famous nanda rajjat of uttarakhand took place during which period in 2014 this is 18th august to 6 september 2014 another way in which this question might be asked is that nanda rajjat yatra of uttarakhand was previously held in which year so aapka answer tab ho jayega 2014 Moving on to the next question who is India's woman parliamentarian to win election for eight consecutive terms from the same Lok Sabha constituency this is Sumitra Mahajan who was also our ex Lok Sabha speaker and currently our Lok Sabha speaker is Mr Om Birla who is the author of the book out of print newspapers journalism and the business of news in the digital age this is professor George Brock question 135 until question 140 we have current affairs again but let me see question 140 which one of the following organizations has officially declared india as a polio free country in march 2014 this is our who ab ye questions aapka aayog dwara kaise pucha ja sakta hai that who declared india as a polio free country in which year so then your answer will be 2014 moving on to the next question which is question 141 it is again a state related question so almora coins bear the names of the answer will be option c shivdat shivapalita and haridat tick the out the correct the matched option out of the following combination of king and his capital somchand rajbunga this is very true because the rajbunga fort was constructed by somchand who was known as nakati rani in the history of gadwal this is karnavati rani option b Gadwal Sarvadalit Board was constituted constituted in 1928 by Jayanand Bharti Praja Mandal established by Shridev Suman on 23rd Jan 23rd Jan 1939 was set up to free the people from the misrule of Tihri Raj The 6th century BC was a period of great religious upheaval in all parts of the world the vedic religion had 
become very complex both a and b are true but b both a and b are true yeah so the answer will be option b the earliest known epigraphic evidence of bhagavatism is found in the garud column at besnagar this question is also very important buddhist text milandapanu throws light on which indo greek ruler this is menander this is option c in which vedic text the term varna is found referred for the first time this is rigved where also let me tell you this that the earliest reference for our state uttarakhand is found in rigved there were different causes for the downfall of the gupta empire which one among the following was not the cause among the statements given below huna invasion feudal setup of administration acceptance of buddhism by the later guptas and arab invasion there was no arab invasion at that time that was huna's invasion so option d will be the answer to this question so with that we complete our discussion of 2012 uk psc upper prelims paper hope you enjoyed it and you learned the maximum out of it do subscribe to our youtube channel if you like our videos and join our telegram channel for more further updates thank you everyone